All right, so today we're going to be reviewing um, a majority of sodas and an extra edited thing. So today we're going to be reviewing um, Scort Soda, the original. I don't know if there's others. Uh, Crush Pineapple, the all-in-one masterful A&W. Roots Beer. That's over a hundred years old. Like the, well, not the, not the actual drink, but like the recipe is over a hundred years old. Uh, I don't think I can drink hundred years old uh, thing. Now that's just water. But we're gonna be adding this crushed orange, natural um, uh, flavored, sugar-free on the go packs to it, and reviewing one of these packs. And for an extra bonus, we're gonna be reviewing Venom's uh, Energy Plus Fruit Punch Death Adder. So, that's fun to see. So, let's get on to it. Alright, so let's start the video off with uh, a little bit something that's more touchy. Um, something, let's get into the fruits, because, you know, the fruits, they're, they're always got to be so fruity, you know? They got to be so fruity. Alright, so that poor cam. Squirt has... 140 calories per uh, 12 ounce uh, serving, and this is a two liters, two quarters. Um, it's a grapefruit soda with other naturally uh, artificial flavors, and it's uh, caffeine free. So if you are a kid and if you have like a bedtime restraint, you can enjoy it. Man, look at that pour. So, as I've said um, in my Mountain Dew review, uh, whiteout was not a new whiteout. Is just like the same color as this. This is what it reminded me of when I poured it in my cup last night, cause uh, I was drinking it and I was like, "Damn, that looks like actual Mountain Dew whiteout." But once you taste it, it's not like whiteout. <laughs> I can guarantee that, boys. Mmm, that's pretty good. So, once you drink it, it starts with um, a tasty flavor, I should say. A great flavor. Sorry to pause it because my dog was barking at someone in the background um, as I was doing with the cooking video for the mix-up. Um, and there's people in the background that are being agitated for some reason. Um, no, but this this is a, an enjoyable drink because it's it's uh, it kind of reminds me... God damn it. Hold on. It kind of just reminds me of grapefruit, basically. And grapefruit is actually a delicious drink. If you enjoy, um, have you ever tasted grapefruit? Which reminds me, I also want to talk about um, something in the video. Um, sometime in the future, I'm not just going to be, I'm not, see, I'm a reviewer. And a reactor, and a, and a person who makes music. Um, so, I'm an open-minded person. And with that, um, grapefruit is actually a pretty good drink. And this soda, what it offers, is a clear taste um, that can trick anyone to believe it's like, not water clearly. Because <laughs> this, and this are, that's, this is water, and this is like, you can tell there's a difference between water, but it looks like a little bit more like Sprite on a little bit end. Like a milky Sprite. Um... But grapefruit, uh, fruits, I'm going to be doing reviews on fruits. I'm going to be doing reviews on candies. As I've already discussed on my uh, Instagram, I'm going to be reviewing, um, I'm going to be have like different uh, sessions uh, or different like uh, tournament or different like rounds, I should say, um, for like uh, sets of candy reviews. Um, so I'm just basically reviewing a lot of stuff, not just sugary foods. Um, and with that in mind, Squirt is a delicious drink. By far, it's one of the most silkiest, tasteful. Mm. It's not too sour, too. It's not too sour on the end, and it's not too bitter. And it's not too sweet. It's just right in the middle, baby. 
so what do we think squirt caffeine free thirst quencher give it an 8 out of 10 it does very well with its flavor I, I gotta say that next we have crush pineapple uh, which is the second uh, flavored uh, fruit or fruit flavored soda that I have right now and by the way too let's get that pork cam um, with these like reviews there's like there's like three different reviews um, well that's like what that's like fucking yellow as bright that's that's like bright as yellow they even made the ice look like it's fucking from uh, uh, fucking so, like a pineapple <laughs> um, there's the movie slash album uh, kill slash uh, scare counts reviews then there's the um, food slash drink sessions then there's the uh, the regular, uh, regular film and movie reviews. And with that, mm, I'm trying to talk about news about the reviewer's realm. And I got so carried away. Pineapple, as I discussed in um, Mountain Dew Maui Burst episode, this one's actually pretty good. Um, Mountain Pineapple, I would say my favorite fruits, I'm getting way distracted, but I would say my favorite fruits overall would be pineapple. Um, Actually, would be strawberry, uh, um, banana, um, pineapple, and then mango. <laughs> Grapefruit is one of those that are I like to enjoy once in a while. Okay, so the pineapple is not too tropical, I should say. But Grun Crush, like, I haven't done a review on the actual Orange Crush. But pineapple, pineapple crush, it's actually pretty good. Crush, what they do, I feel like Fanta, um, Fanta, Starburst, or uh, Sunkissed, and uh, Crush, they have like different pineapple drinks. I think it's because they use different flavors as well. That's what makes it unique because you can taste the difference between pineapple, um, crushed pineapple, Fresa, or, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> uh, Fanta, <laughs> I got a brain freeze, man. Fanta, uh, pineapple, and then, uh, Star, or uh, Sunkissed pineapple. They're all good, don't get me wrong, but Crush is the king out of when it, when it comes to tropical fruits, man. Tropical fruit flavors, sodas. So, I would say this one's a little bit more on the sweeter side. And whenever... Gotta get rid of that pineapple because the next one is root beer. So pineapple man. Crushed pineapple. It nails the pineapple flavor. It nails the um the way it gets you. By the way, it's 190 calories per 12 ounce. And this is a two liters, 2.1 quarts, so a lot of uh calories. Um yeah, it's a pineapple soda, naturally and artificially flavored. It contains no juice and it's caffeine free, so um, they know that shit very well. I would say that drink, I, I just put it down, crushed pineapple. I would say this one is a 6 out of 10. Alright. Do I still got some pineapple left? Next one we have, I feel like the, uh, oh, no, never mind. I try to get it done as much as I possible can. So this one, this one, baby, man, this one's one of the, this is the king of root beers, man, between mug, between, um, um, uh, Bargs or whatever that's called. A and W is one of the club. Ooh, I just burnt my fucking boy, yeah, man. Woo. But no, A and W, I would say is one of the uh, top, uh, it's the king of root beers, I would say. So this one, unlike a, uh, unlike mugs, is aged with vanilla, and it's no caffeine. It's been uh, going since 1919, um, six years after the, uh, or no, that's seven years after the uh, the Titanic, and it's a hundred years last year that the, the ingredients that they've been AW's been around. Um, it's root beer, naturally and artificially flavored. It's 240 calories per bottle, and this is 16 ounces. 
Um, it's low sodium and caffeine free. So for those of you who like sugars or don't like sugars, <clears throat> it, it it's high in the sugars, but it's low on the so uh, on the the salt or the the salt the salt and it's caffeine free. So for kids, kids can drink this if you don't want them to bounce off the walls. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! It's foaming up! It's foaming up! Oh, I can smell the vanilla just creeping to be out of that bottle. Like, get me out of this, bitch! All right, let's get that pour. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I think the I, I think I'm the only one that actually gets excited whenever I pour a soda. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Mm, mm. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's actually pretty good. You can tell, like I like the pineapples, man. Uh, the sodas, <clears throat> they have different flavors, man. And with this, you can tell when... Oh, shit, I just spilt it, man. Uh, I, I just spilt it. I tried to grab it, and the thing wasn't on. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess this is the blooper for today. Look at that. Damn, man. We gotta continue the show, though. Alright, so, like I was saying, man. Um, A&W is a lot more different than... Uh, um, mugs or uh, R and R, or what those other root beer flavors, man? Because this one's the king of root beers, and this one you can tell whenever it has, when, whenever you're drinking A and W, because it's got that pure vanilla taste, man. It's like if they put a uh, vanilla ink, uh, like ink, like um, extract in it. Oh yeah, that's good, man. I don't know about you, but I remember growing up as a kid, putting A and W in my vanillas, uh, my vanilla ice cream, and that's the main source we have for like a drink. You occasionally you would put like a Coke in there or like an orange, orange cream float, but it was mainly root beer. And whenever it was root beer, it was A and W root beer. Mugs, eh, but A and W, yeah, that's the good shit. All right, whoo! <laughs> Am I knowing you get? <laughs> All right, so, whoo! Oh, man, man, look at that. That's half the bottle gone. That was spilt on the floor. And then there, man. I'm definitely gonna drink this later on though today. Um, the rest of it. Um. Uh. So the aged vanilla, it's actually pretty good. So I'm gonna give this one a six. Uh, actually, let's give this one an eight out of ten because this one, A and W root beer is actually pretty pretty good when it comes to like that aged vanilla type of taste. Uh, so it's it does well. It brings a lot of childhood memories. It's not only for me. I can guarantee A and W's been in your childhood for longest time. And if you're not from this country, try one of you or one of you try A and W. You would not be fucking. I do not burp, but you would not be uh, disappointed. All right, so the next one, we're going to basically first uh, make it. So it's one of these uh, sugar-free crush oranges. So this one is not a soda, but it's in the crush soda series. Um, so it's crush uh, orange not if it are, uh, naturally flavored drink mix. Uh, just add to 16 ounce of water. So this is in a 16 ounce. Yeah, okay. So let's let's open this up. So this one, let's go. I don't want to spill anything more. <laughs> Alright. Oh, look at that. Look at that dissolve, man. Look at that dissolve. All right, we're gonna shake this motherfucker up. Let's see how well these do, like for real. How well this compares to actual orange crush. I'll do that in another video. 
comparing and comparison. Oh yeah, that reminds me. There's four. There's four reviewers mom because there's uh, the uh, the film and album kill counts and kill scare counts. There's the um, the food slash drink uh, review sessions. Then there's the regular ones. Um, then there's the uh, the verses for uh, different uh, foods. So it's like this one versus this one. Uh, so what's come uh, that one's gonna be? I'm gonna be doing that a lot. Like what's like these ones versus the actual real deals. Um, so this one says, um, delicious hydration, the refreshing taste you know and love on the go uh, packet with bold fruity taste and zero sugar. Crush orange drink mix brings an exciting rush of flavor in every sip. Directions: Put it in one of these bottles, shake or stir until dissolved. Enjoy. Um, so this one, instead of uh, putting sugar in here, they put. Did they put aspartame? I don't see aspartame on the ingredients. Huh. Well, let's see how this tastes. Well, bottoms up. Okay, that's different. Oh, 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 woo! Whoop. I'm gonna repeat that again. Woo! Whoop. It's good, but if you're not into strings like this, it's not good. <laughs> I'm gonna say that uh, they nailed the uh, the fruity flavor, that orange fruity flavor they didn't know their their regular crush and i'm i believe it's because they use that sugar to like a certain sugar and another type of ingredients set of ingredients that gets that crushy flavor and this thing doesn't offer that but what it does um offer is um you if you're on the run uh like a hike or you're exercising or you're uh, just don't want sugars and you want that orange, like orange crushed fruit taste, then it offers that. It literally does offer that. All right, so that's actually pretty good, man. All right, so I'm gonna review this, man. Oh, so they also have more. They have, um, do they have more? I'm pretty sure they have more for, I think they have one for every taste or every flavor. So, crush. On the go packets or crush orange on the go packets, I'm gonna give this one a six out of ten because it nails the uh, the orange. Actually, let's give this one an eight out of ten because it nails that orange flavor, but it's it's not the best taste. I would say it is sugar free, so that's a bonus. All right, now for our bonus drink, we're gonna be reviewing Venom. The Eye of the Venom. <laughs> uh, Death Adder, which is a fruit punch. Um, and you can buy this for like 99 cents. So it's fruit punch, uh, flavor and energy drink. It's 16 or 160 can or 160 calories per can, and that's 16 ounces per can. Um, there's uh, this is one serving size can. Um, and then the summer in the back is when you want to if when you want lightning fast reflexes you need the intense energy of the venom death adder uh venom delivers a powerful payload of taurine and uh, guarana i think that's how you say it. guarana <laughs> uh marijuana guarana <laughs> l carnitine uh, ginseng and b vitamins and a delicious fruit punch flavor take on the world and own it it literally has like it in captions like own it own it yeah and it, on the top, it literally says "own it for for ninety nine cents." Like it, I mean, you can collect these cans if you want. Um, uh, the only actual rare one I've ever actually seen was uh, strawberry apple. Uh, it was strawberry crisp apple, which I did a picture review on it. Oh, look at that! I smell. I, I this is probably going to be like a like a cherry uh, raspberry fruit drink. Look at that! Look at that! That's orange, man. That's that's an orangey, that's an orangey like drink. Oh, don't drink this in one setting though. <laughs> I would. I'm gonna save this for later on too. 
you you don't know what you're getting yourself into if you drink one of those any of the drinks. Trust me, I've drank Monsters. I've done reviews on Monsters, Red Bulls, um, Rockstars, pretty much almost every single energy drink that I can find. And headaches afterwards for the withdrawals are not fun. Oh, that is strong. Woo! That just punches you in the mouth and says, I'm your daddy. <laughs> Ooh. Woo! That's, that's strong, man. Woo! Man, I gotta say, this is actually a pretty good drink. I... I never expected uh, Venom to be this good, though, because it's, because you know how Monster is. Monster has, like, fruit drink, fruit flavored uh, sort of drinks, um, but uh, Venom, Venom always comes back with a punch, man. I feel like Venom is one of the most underrated energy drinks, though, for real, and Monster and Rockstar are the most overrated. Oh, it feels like I'm eating gumball. If, to be honest. And it feels like I'm eating fruit punch. Like, for real. Let's, I think they nailed that flavor. Oh, that's so sweet, man. Oh. Oh, man. That is good. I cannot lie. Well, well, that is good, cause I cannot lie. Yeah, I'm just trying to give up all of my time. That is good, and I cannot lie. I just cannot lie that Venom is the guy when it comes to energizing your tides. No, for real though, Venom is very good. That was just a freestyle song. <laughs> Oh, so this is actually interesting. So, I did not know this. Dr. Pepper and 7-Up are two different companies from the um, the PepsiCo. And this is under the 7-Up uh, company. That's interesting. I did not know that. Um, so, uh, it asks you to even please recycle. So, pretty please. Pretty please. Recycle. <laughs> Um, so this one, I'm going to give this one a straight 10 out of 10 because it knocks you. Uh, the Death Powder, I'm going to look that up. Um, I don't know if that's a real snake or not, but I'm going to look that up. And if it is, I'll put a picture like right up there. Um, it's very good. I'm going to give this one a, a, a literally 10 out of 10. Uh, so there you guys have it. I am Jeremy Rayford. I will see you guys later. This is probably one of the longest fucking re uh, re re blah, reviews I've ever fucking done. But you guys are the J-Pixers. I will see you guys later. Have a nice day, motherfuckers.